Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have five stories for you this week. Pilot Institute, that's us. We are launching a new student community and it's massive. All right, AUVSI jumps on the anti-Chinese bandwagon, which is not good. We also have NASA's Ingenuity that ends after 72 flights. This is amazing. And then Autel is finally releasing the Alpha. And then lastly, we have a remote ID update for the Mini 3 and Mini 4 Pro. If you're part 107, you wanna be paying attention to this one. And first up this week is our release of our exclusive Pilot Institute community, or PIC for short. Get it? <laughs> Pretty fun, right? Uh, we created the community as a place for all of our students to interact together and then learn from each other. Now we've had a Facebook group or several Facebook groups for a while uh, that, um, are not just the best, right? Facebook is a good place for people to talk, but it's just not a place to organize content that's gonna be seen over and over again by uh, hundreds of thousands of people. So uh, this is the answer for uh, getting rid of Facebook and having a place where everybody can talk to each other. Now, this is really cool. Uh, you'll get answers to uh, your questions from subject matter experts, uh, guest instructors from our graduates and our staff. Uh, you'll also be able to connect with other people who are studying at the same time as you are on the same exact topic. We have actually live chat areas where you can talk directly inside of the course. So if you enroll in one of our courses, you'll be able to talk directly with other people as they're studying, make study buddies. And the best part is all free and it's all available with your current student login. So if you already have an account, if you already have a course with us, even a free course, you'll be able to log in and see the new community. So head over to community.pilotinstitute.com to get started. Uh, also tonight, we will have an exclusive live event at 4 p.m. with the official kickoff. But in the meantime, uh, if you're watching this video before 4 p.m. on that Friday when it's going out, uh, and this is 4 p.m. Arizona time, so it's, uh, uh, that's uh, 6 p.m. on the East Coast. Well, join us for the kickoff event. Uh, we'll walk you around and show you what it looks like. I'm actually really excited. We've been working on this for a long time. We've had people testing it for several weeks now, and uh, it's just a really cool place. Next up, speaking of cool, or actually quite the opposite of that, uncool, which is AUVSI, uh, who appears to be alienating a large number of the folks that uh, they claim to represent. And that's a claim, that's right. Uh, AUVSI released a video this week calling for US lawmakers to take measures to strengthen the US drone industry. You, know, you might be saying, well, how, why is that bad? It's bad because the way that they want to do this, uh, they basically want to take away DJI and Autel from uh, the hands of our uh, public safety agencies who uh, use it to, well, save people's lives. So uh, a UVSI stance is uh, definitely affecting public safety. And if you look in the comments, you can clearly see that uh, the industry's response hasn't really been in favor of what a UVSI and other uh, American drill manufacturers are trying to push uh, with so many companies, including us, uh, pulling out of uh, a UVSI conference. So we will not be at a UVSI exponential this year. Um, Last year, we had a big presence. We had a big booth, 20 by 20. A lot of you came by to, uh, to stop by and say hi. Uh, not gonna happen this year. I will not be giving a, a dollar to AUVSI going forward. Uh, this is just not acceptable. Uh, there hasn't really been a better time uh, than now to reevaluate uh, who's advocating for you and the hobby or your profession uh, when you're using drone and uh, where you may be donating your money and how your money is going to be used. Uh, I do want to mention that uh, if you don't know what to do with your money that used to go to uh, AUVSI, uh, the Drone Service Provider Alliance is a great place to uh, give that money and help them actually push for sensible rules on a lot of different things, including fighting local bills uh, that restrict flying and um, anything that has to do with public safety and let them making sure that they have the best tool available to save lives and do their job. So that's it, I'll get off my soapbox. I'm definitely extremely annoyed by this, uh, as you can probably tell, but uh, it needs to be said. Next up this week is an update to NASA's Ingenuity uh, helicopter or, or drone, it really is a drone. I know they say it's a helicopter, but it's not. Uh, Ingenuity had suffered a hard landing on January 18th, which uh, unfortunately damaged one or more of the rotor blades, making it uh, unable to fly anymore. Uh, NASA's goal for Ingenuity was uh, five total flights on Mars. Uh, instead, they ended up with 72 from five to 72, which is incredible. Uh, total flight time of over two hours were completed. Now this might not sound like a whole lot, but two hours that far away from Earth, 
uh, with uh, the way that they control this thing is just incredible. Uh, over 10 miles covered. Uh, it seems that Ingenuity's mission was more than a success, and hopefully we'll see other versions of this uh, type of drone headed back to the Red Planet very soon. All right, and last up this week is the Autel Alpha. Uh, the uh, Alpha was finally released. It appears to be a medium-sized uh, public safety drone with a uh, wide camera, a zoom camera, a la laser range finder, and also two thermal cameras, which is really interesting, uh, with up to 56X of hybrid thermal zoom. The Alpha is much bigger than the Max, which uh, we've talked about before, and boasts a ton of features, including the hot swappable battery, mesh networking, 4K at 35X optical zoom, uh, IP55 rating, and then obstacle avoidance. Uh, looks like a pretty cool aircraft. Hopefully we can get our hands on one of those and test it. All right, one more story before we go. There is a recent update to the Mini 3 and Mini 4 Pro, and uh, they have actually removed Remote ID from the drone if you are using the small battery. Now, if you remember the Mini 3 and Mini 4 Pro, they have two different batteries, one that uh, keeps the drone under 250 gram, one that takes it over. Uh, this means that at the moment, if you are part 107, if you're doing operations under part 107 with the Mini 3 or the Mini 4 or the Mini 4 Pro, then you will need to purchase a new uh, battery or purchase a module to put on top of your drone to make it compliant, which is not a good option either way. Uh, you're going to have to spend more money, unfortunately, to comply with Remote ID. Now, I'm not sure how DJI is actually getting away with this because both of these drones are DOC uh, approved on the DOC list for the FAA, uh, which means that you're buying a drone that's technically Remote ID approved, but it actually is not. So uh, not a good situation, if you ask me. A lot of people on the recreational side, I'm sure, uh, are happy with this, but on the Part 107, uh, not a, a great deal. So. All right, that's it. That's all we have. You have a great weekend and we'll see you tonight for the live event at 4 p.m. Don't miss it. It's on the community, community.pilotinstitute.com. See you there. So it's going to be good. <laughs>